the word on Twilight was like you took it so seriously when you got that part that you almost got kicked off that set because you were being a pain in the ass about the character, right? I mean, you got on set and you made a lot of, not demands, but a lot of thoughts about how the character should be. I mean, I just thought, you know, considering now now that Twilight's known to be this sort of very emo thing, I mean, uh, there was a period, I, I was just, you know, I thought it was very, very serious. I, I always just kind of thought at the time, it was like 21, you have, if you're going into a relationship with someone, the... Uh, the way to make it really intense is if like you can barely talk to each other, you can barely touch each other, and it's incredibly serious all the time. I mean, it's kind of like what teenage relationships are like, and that's what sort of makes it feel like that. Um, but everyone kind of wanted it to be like, no, they should just be like happy and having fun. That's what people want, and that's kind of you know that's that's the sort of uh, teen romance thing. You and, wanted it brooding a little bit. Yeah, I wanted. And now that the whole series is known as like a brooding thing, but right. uh, but yeah, they are kind of. I remember the producers giving me a a copy of the book and it's like every single instance where my character smiled and stuff she, they'd highlighted everything so you put your foot down you said hey listen man i don't see the character that way i'm not yeah, going to be smiling I got, I got the same but i got a different color highlighter and highlighted all the time and he frowns and like, <laughs> like that did your agents put pressure on you and stuff to say hey you better just get with the program or they're going to fire you oh yeah they came they flew up and said like you've got to because i thought i was pretty safe like, right they, and they flew up and they're like yeah you've got to you have to do the opposite of what you're doing now. Or you're going to get fired today. So how did you hold your ground? I mean, how did you know what to do? I didn't. I literally <laughs> I came back off. I came back off lunch. I was like, "Hi, <laughs> I'm a smiling <laughs> vampire." <laughs> I <bet> you, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I want to keep my job. <laughs> oh my god, you can't even do what you want. Mm. So crazy. But I kind of did. I mean, it was literally just after that point. Instead of, I mean, I was probably going a little bit too miserable, and so I, uh, there was some kind of compromise made. 